So, we've got two single scholars here. This is the Diamond Challenge Skulls, a very prestigious contest at Henley Regatta, been run since 1844. On the left-hand side of the course is Damien Schroeder from Australia, and he is up against, well, uh, a man from Zimbabwe, Steve Cox, who does his training at Multi Boat Club. He's coached by Franz Infield, who's the Multi Boat Club chief coach. And uh, that was their off the start. We're now going live, Akil. Yeah, and this is this is a tough race. Uh, you're out there by yourself, and you know, one man against one man. Uh, I love this race. Yeah, a lot of memories here yeah, in that you, regard. You beat Simon Goodbrand, is that right, in the final? Was it back in 2000 you won the Diamonds? That is that is true. Uh, I lost the Olympic trials by 33 hundredths of a second. Uh, Hart Perry, uh, steward of the regatta, at the time said, Akil, you're coming to race. And uh, I came over, I raced, and uh, it was one of the best things, one of the best decisions I ever made. That's amazing. And also, Akil, you were the first Afro-American athlete to win the Diamond Skulls, which is a pretty cool thing. Well, yeah, you know, I, I think that even cooler, though, for me was walking around with the pineapple cup <laughs> and also trying to escape the steward's enclosure with the actual Diamond Skulls. Where'd you keep it now? Uh, it is in it's in, it's in it's at the house, you know, just sitting around uh, along the rest of the medals, just on a shelf. So let's look at Stephen Cox, the Zimbabwe scholar. He's hoping to qualify for the Paris Olympics through the African qualification system. He's got to finish in the first two for that. Often see him training on the multi reach. I love those multicolor blades. Yeah, and he's looking quite relaxed right now. Uh, nice rhythm, uh, staying nice and contained in himself, you know. And that's the thing about this race is that uh, when you're out there, when you're in the single, you really have to stick to your game plan. You yeah. can't get caught up in sort of what's going on too much outside outside of the boat. We had a great uh, shot there of, of Stephen Cox. We, he's rowing in a Filippi, which is an Italian uh, manufactured shell, and look at those beautiful color blades see I, you know I, I kind of feel a jealousy when I see that I kind of like I want a set of blades like that but uh, he uh, Stephen Cox um, he's a corporal in the Royal Logistics Corps of the British Army and uh, he's so pleased to be able to train at Malsey there was a look did you see it from uh, Damien Schroeder just where is Stephen Cox and what do I have to do to get back on him Melbourne University Boat Club that is what those initials stand for and yeah, you know, he's really, really, as you say, you take that look over, uh, you try to decide, can I make a move now? There's, see how much race course is left, and you really try to stick your heels in and, and push. You know, it's not impossible that, you know, a dramatic effort could, could get through uh, Stephen Cox. There he is, a little grimace on his face. He, you know, he's got that tug into the finish, hasn't he? He's kind of, you know, lets his arm out there. Yeah. A little, a little pull in there, uh, getting those hands away quickly there, though. Uh, no pause around that finish. Nice and circular motions is what, what, I, what I like to see. A plenty of clearance in this water, and he still maintains a decent lead over Damien Schroeder, the Australian athlete, who's looked round again. Just how much does that disrupt you in a boat if you're looking round a keel? Yeah, looking around in the single can be pretty tough uh, uh, on the balance of the boat. Uh, so you try to not to do it that much. What I really like, though, to see here uh, with with uh, with Damien is the dy the dy dynamicism, dynamicism yeah. through this stroke. It's very powerful at the finish. You can see he's really getting some some power through the stroke, through those legs. He sits tall in the boat, doesn't he? Yeah, Stephen Cox. He really is is up tall. He had a look there. Where am I on the course? Just coming up to the stewards for the general enclosure. That is a very, very comfortable lead to have. And uh, I'm not sure if we'll get many looks over his shoulder from Damien Schroeder. Yeah, you know, we have the, the uh, light rain here, uh, you know, which can be cause for something interesting because the grips can get a little slippery in your hand. So you really have to stay relaxed here and be aware of what's going on with your hands. Yeah, I, I reckon you've probably got about three or four minutes before you feel the rain. I kind of think, you know, the first few drops, your hands stay dry and you're attached to the blade. And then once it keeps on raining, you've got issues, haven't you? Yeah, yeah. And also, you know, the handles are a bit tacky. Yeah. So there's a little bit of stick there. 
uh, but you still have to, to maintain as the rain picks up. Yeah, and the darkness is here. It's really quite dark in the commentary box. And I'm looking out on the course. It's very overcast. I'm not sure how much uh, Stephen Cox will be affected by those conditions. This is really part of his preparation for qualifying for the Paris Olympics. You know, he's been racing in World Cups. He's going to race in World Cups and World Championships. And, uh, you know, Henley is really part of his preparation for that African qualification regatta, which will be fantastic to be in the Paris Olympics. So he's probably got about 20 strokes to go, Akil. Yeah, and this is a great place to test your medal. But right now, he's just focused on making it to the finish line. Uh, you know, no mistakes uh, in maintaining his rhythm right here. You can see he's looking left and looking right trying to figure out when that finish line is uh, going to come across, which is interesting because being out where he was, I would have thought he would have been a little bit more relaxed and just rode right through the finish. So you saw Stephen Cox just taps the boat there to indicate his satisfaction. He beats Damien Schroeder from Australia, from Melbourne University Boat Club. And uh, th th there we go. Yeah.